Hello, and welcome to a new video. This one's gonna be the UAM Loki Progress Series video number seven. As we've been mentioning in all the previous videos, our current main goal is to unlock Song of the Elves and all of the rewards within. We'll have planted over a thousand herb seeds by the time we finally enter for the uh, 70 herbal requirement. This is gonna be a bit of a short intro today. I just wanna take note of the fact that as of recording this, this series is 30 days old. That is one month old and we've reached 88 subscribers in that one month. 88 might not seem like a lot to most of you, but to me, it's just sort of like amazing. It's like, I don't know. It's really motivating and, it's, and inspiring. And in order to thank you guys, I've decided to go ahead and do a giveaway. So the way that it's gonna work is that uh, for every like this video gets, by the time I release the next video, I will give away one mil to a random commenter on this video. And this giveaway is only valid if we can manage to hit 100 subscribers by the next video. So it's pretty simple guys, just like, comment, and subscribe, and get paid. So just leave a comment in the video and I'll randomly pick one of the commenters to win the, uh, the giveaway. If we can hit 100 subscribers, I'd just be totally, totally grateful. In terms of the account, we've made a lot of progress in this video. And rather than just spoil it in the intro, I'll let you watch it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. We got a good one for you. Oh my god. 99 Slayer. You are now a master of slaying. Why not visit Duradel in Shilo Village? Oh my god! Oh! We... <laughs> What? <laughs> no way. Wait, wait. We got the jaw. Oh, <laughs> the same kill as 99 Slayer. Oh. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe that just happened. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so perfect, man. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh man. Well, there's the cape, boys. 99 Slayer. Perhaps like the longest, hardest 99 in the game. Achieved on the Iron Man. Yep. I'm not super crazy about this emote. I mean, what is that? A Turath or something? Um. But besides that, the cape is awesome. It looks sick. It's a huge achievement. Really happy. And the fact that we got the uh, the basilisk jaw on the same on the same basilisk that gave us 99 Slayer is just like what? <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah. So uh, just a couple 99s to go. Uh, gonna be maxing pretty soon, I guess. So stay tuned for that. All right, 81 ranged. Not bad. Honestly. Blood Veld is like the best task we can get because uh, they give superior Blood Velds, they give Blood Veld heads. Uh, they're pretty easy, they have low defense, high HP. Yeah. All around, just a great task. Oh, 51 Slayer. Hey, hard clue from Blood Velds. Let's see what we can get. Oh, Goldie Step. See ya. All right, 10 tasks, which means we just got a bunch of points, which is nice because uh, we had no points. We canceled like Bronze Dragons and then we had Iron Dragons, so. Luckily, we got through to 10 tasks. Now we have a couple of insurance points for canceling and blocking and such. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 52 Slayer Jellies. That means we can get Mithril Boots for that uh, medium clue step. I think this might be the first to have a Rune Skim on the account because we went from Rune Sword straight to D Skim. Peace out, bro. 53 Slayer. And task done. Four in Sold Heads, a Longbone, some Construction XP, some Herb XP, not bad. Nice. Can't forget our free construction XP. Wow, 4.5k. That's pretty good, honestly. I don't see why everyone complains about those traps all the time. Oh, no thanks. No steel dragons today. Uh, God damn it. Oh. Okay, that's doable. So uh, one little cool trick that I sort of invented in order to get uh, your quick prayer, all of them to activate on the same tick um, while you're one tick. Well, I mean, so while you're slaying, you want to pray for like melee and then the, uh, the offensive ones. What you're going to do is you're going to attack the guy, run away. Okay, well, I got PJ'd right there. So you, you basically just attack him, run away, 
and then you do that and now your protect melee and your offensive prayers are on the same tick um i mean you could do like individual you know like something like that you know but uh this is way more convenient so i'm gonna do this hey there he is there he is we just wanted to be able to do this the first time we ever went to the dungeon in our whole lives on this account I remember as a kid, we could, like, never do this, and we were like, what? We'd never be able to get that level, but here we are. We beat it. We beat the game. This is our jelly killing setup. What do you think? <laughs> He's actually- the void robes actually give decent mage bonus- mage defense bonus, which is why we're using those. Um, spiked manacles, of course, can never go wrong with those. And then rune gloves. We could get borrows gloves, but, I mean, it costs, like, 130k, and then you all can for, like, 30k. For like 60k so it's like a 70k loss and these it's like a 3k loss and you're only losing out on one max hit so at this point i think it's more worth it to just hang on to those and yeah we just decided to go ahead and do some melee training because range was sort of black lacking a bit it seems like it'd be more efficient to uh to not really train range until we unlock broad bolts at least plus i mean this is like way more dps hey scroll all right here's the casket let's see what we get a mother of a master clue. Black dragon mask. That is a uh, an armadillo play legs. Black. That's an elite clue requirement, I believe. Let me double check that. That is a master clue requirement. So I don't think we're gonna be keeping that. Actually, we'll be able to store it once we get any construction. So I guess we'll hang on to it. I mean, we're hanging on to a red dragon mask for God's sakes. So yeah, we'll keep that and we'll go ahead and see if we can do this master rogue's castle. I don't think so, buddy. Um, there's those mithril boots plus this diamond and gold bar will come in handy too. So we ran out of food while killing those jellies, and we decided to just go ahead and build this medium stash now, since we had all the items with us. So this is going to come in handy if we ever decide to uh, grind master, master clues later in, on in the account. 54 Slayer. I'm not sure how rare this is, but I just got a hard clue. It's a wilderness step, so I was like, no thanks. I dropped it, and then I just killed another one. Back-to-back -back hard clues and a brimstone key. Uh, yeah, the way you calculate it is you just multiply their drop rates together. So it's one in twenty-five thousand to get your brimstone key and a hard clue on the same on the same kill. And back-to-back, and -back, I don't even know how you calculate that. Task complete. Hard casket. What do we get? Uh, all right, we'll take it. Nice socks, I suppose. All right, let's get another task. Uh, that's doable. It's not Metal Dragon, so we're gonna do it. So we've been using up all of the uh, Death Runes and Chaos Runes we've been getting as drops, because it's just free magic XP. And I mean, Greater Demons have like no magic defense, so you can wear full armor, and it's pretty nice, honestly. We de we're still working towards 77 magic. We desperately need it so we can train crafting up to 70 for the Lumbridge Hard Diary, as well as uh, being able to make all of the Blue Dragon Head equipment for hard clue stashes. All right, 76 magic. One more level for 77 that we can do super last make. Just checking in with you guys. I want to let you know, feeling great. It's a beautiful day. Birds are chirping, sun shining, green grass and high tides forever. This is honestly super chill. We're getting a lot of really good combat XP. We're gonna, I mean, we need to get 100 combat in order to complete Karemja hard as well as West Province hard. And once we do, who's that? Nice. Once we do, is that a rapier? Once we do uh, Western Province is hard, that'll give us Elite Void. Um, which would be pretty useful. And you know, Karem Jahard will give us the gem mine teleport, which will also be very useful. Task complete. Honestly, that's something I could just kill without prayer and it shouldn't take too long. So I'm pretty happy about that. This guy has got a rune skim, a crab claw, steel plate body, amulet of power, adamant plate legs. <laughs> He's the most, this guy's having more fun than all of us. He's got 60 attack though. So, oh, he just ate something. Maybe he potted up. Yeah, you got, you got to pot up. If you're gonna, oh, he's a hardcore, okay. That's pretty weird still. I don't know how he's a hardcore with that gear, honestly. <laughs> Seems like he has no clue what he's doing. Medium casket, what do we get? Uh, task done. Medium casket, what do we get? Oh, 83 strength. We missed it, but there it is. Most of our combat stats have just come from Nightmare Zone. So 
It's kind of nice when we edit the video, we just pop on Nightmare Zone for like six hours. I don't know why it takes me so long to edit, but I mean, I've got like a hundred little clips and got to put them all together, add music, add editing, production, all that stuff. 56 Slayer. Two more levels for Cave Horrors, then we're going to camp for a black mask to see if we can get that. Is that what I think it is? You guys see it? Tooth half of key. That means we have a crystal key when the next time we death bank, we can go ahead and get that Falador medium diary done. That feels pretty good, man. Hmm, task done. Uh... This is gonna be our first block, I believe. We <sighs> the only thing is if we block these and we get two middle dragon tasks, then we're like, fucked. But I think we're supposed to block these. We need 400 points for the Slayer Helm for the Desert Heart Diary. Uh, yeah, I think we block them rather than just keep skipping them. Black Demon, block. Middle dragon task? Fire Giants, nice, nice, that's fine, we could do that. Honestly, like, Doing uh doing Konar Slayer is pretty cool. You know, we have to like like we discovered how this safe spot safe spot works on our own. We do we go over there, we tank one hit, we come over here, he's stuck here. We're like we're fucking adventuring right now. If someone came upon us, they'd be like, who the hell is that guy? What is he doing all the way out here in the middle of nowhere, you know? Like who where even are we? What is this? There's like mushrooms growing out of the Oh my god. We I just picked up the brimstone key, but we got a dragon med and a brimstone key on the same kill. Uh, what dragon med helm is? F oh my god. Holy. Wait a second. Dragon med helm is one in. What? Alright, well, since the D med is one in 16,000 and the brimstone key is one in 139, to get them both on the same kill is a one in 2.28 million drop chance. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> It's the Brimhaven Fire Giants, man. That's that's where all the action's at. That's what I'm telling you. I don't even know if we're going to keep this D-Med. I can't think... I know there's an elite clue step for it in the wilderness, but I don't think we're going to be doing... Holy shit. That's cr I wish I was recording that, but I didn't I didn't quite have it proved by having the... Uh, I picked up the key just because I saw it, and I didn't see the D-Med under it. But I mean, like, these are our Fire Giants. This is two tasks. We only got one key. And I, I don't know if... Oh, what? Oh. Um, I think we'll be able to prove through deduction based on the clips that it actually happened because a one in 2.28 million drop, drop chance is definitely the rarest drop I've ever gotten. So I want to make sure that the proof is valid because that's just like fucking insane. I can't believe that just happened. All right. Task complete. Uh, we did decide to keep the dragon med helm. There's a there's an elite clue stash in the fishing guild where you can store glory, borrows gloves, and and a dragon med helm. So that's definitely gonna come in handy. So we don't have to out the borrows gloves every time after we're done with them. We can just go ahead and storm in there. 57 prayer, getting pretty close to 60 when we unlock chivalry, but these levels are coming in pretty slow. So we figured while we had this uh, death bank going, we do the trouble brewing mini game for the diary since it requires no inventory or items. So. There's the medium task done. All right, we beat the queen. That means we can buy the granite body, which is a diary task. But we're probably gonna do a few more runs because these guys are awesome. 25 minute run, it's not bad. I mean, it's not great, but I'm definitely happy with that. These guys are awesome. Shout out to these guys. They've all got like void and dim bulwarks. They're the best. I have a feeling it's gonna be easy to get level five all rolls. Hard candor and task done. Granite plate body. First crystal key on the account. What are we gonna get? Something good. Dragonstone maybe. Uh, Yeah, we'll take that. This is probably just an elk. I guess we could make it into a ring of wealth, just so it would be elk for like 10K. Dragonstone ring, I don't think it's worth the time, honestly, so. Rip. Just using up these death runes, getting 57 slayer, mutated zygomites, ooh, that's pretty. I guess those, those that's a pretty quick task, so I wouldn't mind doing those. All right, 20 task, 90 points, 150 points. We're gonna go ahead and complete the Varrock hard diary, I think it is the skull scepter because we already got we already got one fourth of the skull scepter done And I really don't see us ever coming back here. So it seems like it would be efficient to do that There it is. Yeah teleport to barb village with the skull scepter So we're gonna go ahead and complete that real quick just while we're down here. And there's that and There's that one too and there's a the scepter. Well, it's like 3 a.m. But we went ahead and completed the easy and uh, Medium Falador diary. We're gonna use these on herbalor of course as always. I don't think we're gonna get a level, but it's a nice 10k herblor XP. Slowly chunking away at that 70 herblor. Easy clue. 75 farming. It's a nice even level. Magic trees. I'm like surprised how high this has gotten. It's, it's pretty crazy, honestly. I mean, I don't really feel like we've even done anything. Like, 
one snape grass patch just got us 53 snape grass it's like 5,000 xp for three seeds it's nuts that's like a tree con that's like a tree xp drop you know and speaking of a free or speaking of a full inventory here's our last year seed it's like a weird feeling because like that spot's been taken up so long by a seed but now we just like consume the spot and the seeds within so we just like freed up you know like four percent of our inventory just due to like playing the game we're making progress this is gonna take a while especially with the 300 harlanders but we're getting there imagine being 81 agility and never having done a lap of cannabis course well there's mordania easy and medium diary done the notable rewards here are just that robin will give you exchange your bones or bone meal real quick so you don't have to spend a long time doing it five percent increased slayer xp that's not bad i mean like if you're getting like 20k slayer xp an hour which is what you would get on like a, a decently leveled account with like basic gear you know now you're getting 21k xp an hour so that's like if you imagine if you do that for like 100 hours you know that's like 100k xp so you're telling me you don't want 100k xp plus these act as a, a ghost speak amulet which is pretty useful for like questing and stuff because these are easier to recover from Purdue than to go and talk to the guy to get the Ghost Speak Amulet. And obviously that nice Herbal or XP. Uh, 79 HP, I guess. That's pretty cool. One away from 80. Almost 94 combat. All right. There's 82 rain. Uh, all right. That's like the best we can get, I think. The best task we can get. So we're over here in the Ranging Guild just doing a little theory crafting. In UIM Verf's latest video, he showed us that he was using Mithril arrows with the Magic Shortbow as opposed to the... Uh, as opposed to the Dorkish and Crossbow with Bone Bolts. We calculated that uh, one arrow, three GP per feather. So it's 27 GP per Mithril arrow. And the DPS is about 25% more. So I think we're gonna be doing that instead of using the Dorkish and Crossbow, especially for this dragon task. I think we're gonna be ranging it. 64 Fletching, just doing these Mithril arrows. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing this. I mean, you do get a little bit of Fletching XP, but it takes a while and it costs more than Dorkish and Bow. So I don't know, we'll see how this goes. And then we'll decide and we use like a third of our food let's see what we get uh redwood trees we've gotten an eyesore we're six for six on eyesore seeds <laughs> honestly i don't even really want that the other two are like way better we could even boost a planet right now so but i think we're just gonna drop it honestly it's not really worth it i've been playing this game since 2005 and i straight up never knew there was a staircase here for slayer only <laughs> this is a uh, pretty nice because blue dragons are pretty crowded usually so i'll take it and there is 58 slayer cave whores are now unlocked time to go grind out that black mask that's annoying uh... all right medium cast get from eclectic Second inventory of cave horrors. We're at uh, 379 KC. No black mask yet, but we're getting a lot of insold heads. I, w I wasn't really expecting to get this much prayer XP from these guys, so that's pretty nice. 58 prayer. Getting close to chivalry. Oh, there it is. Black mask. I thought we were going to be here for like three times the drop rate, even like two times the drop rate. Oh, that looks... Oh, God, that looks so nice. Every single insold head we got, I thought, was a black mask. I mean, they do look kind of similar if you, like, are really bad at seeing things. But, oh, man, we got it. Oh, <laughs> that is, like, one of the biggest unlocks for an account is the black mask. So, let's see what the KC was. 402. Honestly, that's pretty good. We got a lot of seeds. What is this? Okay. Uh, Snapdragon, Toadflax. We got a lot of seeds and we got a lot of uh, prayer XP from these and sold heads. That's about uh, 16k prayer XP. So that's honestly, that's a pretty good grind to get done and I'm going to miss it. I enjoyed that. And now we move on to the next chapter of the account. All right, so in order to get our black mask imbued so we can use it with range, we need around 1,200 points. We have less than that. So we tried doing Nightmare Zone for about an hour and we were getting like 80,000 points an hour because our quest list has a bunch of quests that aren't completed, notably Desert Treasure and uh, Recipe for Disaster. So what we're gonna do is rather than spending another eight hours at Nightmare Zone, we're gonna spend, you know, two, three, four hours questing then come back to Nightmare Zone and spend like, you know, two hours in Nightmare Zone to get the points we need for the imbued Black Mask. So we're going to go ahead and store all this Nightmare Zone stuff and uh, 
yeah, we're going to do Desert Treasure and Recipe for Disaster. And I think for Desert Treasure, we add a complete Temple of Ikhov, which requires a bow that's U bow or higher, which means we'll have to go get our U bow out of the Death Bank, unfortunately. I was planning on keeping that Death Bank, but we can do that later because we're going to go get 70 cooking first because we need that for uh, Recipe for Disaster. There's 66 cooking. This this method is like really fast. You, uh, I mean, you can get like 400k cooking XP per hour doing this, but the only thing is you need an alt to do it. You just hop a couple worlds, buy out all these, and you have your alt come and make the fire, and then you just one tick cook them. Sixty-nine cooking. Ninety-seven mining on the Iron Man. Two more levels to go. Two two. So we're twenty levels off max. Sounds good to me. Hey, seventy cooking. Alright. That is the requirement for the Awowo Gwe portion of Recipe for Disaster. So that was a fun little grind, honestly. I'm gonna miss it, but I have a feeling like we're gonna be back here in the future, so I suppose it's not, I suppose we're not really saying goodbye. We're just saying, see you soon. It looks like we cooked exactly 1,000 per hour, which is kind of interesting. In terms of the GP per XP, for those of you who are curious, we uh, we gained 250k XP and we spent, we started off with exactly a mil. So the GP per XP was 1.13, which is not bad at all, honestly. I'll definitely take that because it's uh, so fast. And the, our XP per hour was 188k. But th those are the rates with the, uh, like we went to go get coffee in the kitchen and, you know, drink some coffee and we got 97 mining on the main. So you could definitely expect better than that. And plus we, we had a 25% burn rate, which means uh, I think the theoretical tick perfect XP per hour is around 400k, assuming perfect condition and everything so first we got to go get the monkey speak amulet which is like basically doing the quest all over again because we had to drop it after we completed it now we can make the uh the amulet <laughs> to like start the quest you can actually buy some high healing food at this shop which is pretty nice so apparently these guys heal like he just healed 50 we've been here for like two minutes trying to kill him we just need those bones all right so there's the bones and the amulet he's still crying and there's our three talismans gonna pick a banana and now we go get the greenies what no where'd it go please tell me he still has it did i just skip the dialogue and i lost it are you kidding me thank god okay jeez that's scary i didn't really want to go do the whole thing again all right, we got three Grigris, so we can now, and the amulet, so we can now start the quest. So that's about an hour of prep, but here we are. Feels good, man. Just walking right through this gate. Just a little money-making method, perhaps. You can buy these monkey nuts at the shop for 3 GP, and the GE is 151. I'm not sure. I know you use them for spirit tree protection, but, so I don't know how many you could possibly sell or what the GE limit is, but I don't know. It's worth a shot to try it. Hard Western province task, and now the moment of truth. I suspect there's probably like a 10% chance we burn all four of these, but we cooked the first one. Perfect. Oh God, we ended up burning the other three, so that's pretty interesting now. I really hope we don't eat this. There it is. Oh man, that feels pretty good, honestly. <laughs> 10K agility XP, 8 patrol teleport. Oh, we'll take that, we'll take that. That's pretty stressful, considering we had a death bank active the whole time we were doing that. And now we drop all this stuff, which took us so long to get. 62 herb lore from cleaning the herbs. Doesn't feel right, risking 20, 30 mil in the wilderness. <laughs> the life of a UIM. At least we got the looting bag on the first kill. Look at this champion, rune skim, full gilded, slaying these white knights. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the final fight. This is what we got on, this is what we're risking. We don't mind losing any of this, except, I mean, it kind of sucked to lose the glory, but we have a spare one in a stash. We decided to go ahead and death bake all of our stuff, as you just saw, so all of our stuff's on the ground in Falador. All right, are you ready, guys? I don't know if I'm ready. You have to do a desert treasure. Oh my God. All right, guess guess we're not gonna complete, complete recipe disaster first. To the temple of Ikov, then. This is the only reason this quest is annoying as a UAM. You have to like fill your inventory with limpboard roots. Quest complete, 10,000 ranged XP. Uh, now we can go ahead and do desert treasure. So we're looking at the requirements for desert treasure. One of the items required notably that sticks out is the 12 magic logs. We can get everything else just fine. 
I mean, it was a bit of an oversight. I guess I didn't think I'd be doing it this soon, but there are a bunch of ways you can obtain them. One of the ways that Iron Man often do it is at the end of uh, the Legends quest, you can get a bunch of them. Yeah, and it's, it's a one-time thing. Once you complete Legends quest, which we have, you can't do it. And so all of these potential ways are uh, off limits, except we could do nature imps, which would take forever. We'd have to catch 120 on average, and that might take a couple hours. And that's gonna be what we're gonna end up doing, except we do have 10 brimstone keys. It is a one in 30 chance to get noted magic logs so we have like effectively a one-third chance of uh not having to do hours and hours of nature imps so with that said let's go ahead and test our luck <laughs> all right here we are at the chest uh pretty much a one in 30 chance of getting those logs got 10 keys let's see what we can do chest number one number two okay number three Wow, three gold ore in a row. Number four. Number five. Number six. Yeah, man! Yes, we got it! We got it! Oh. <laughs> I honestly, like, I don't know how long it would have taken to get, to get these three nature rooms. Whew! That was, uh... That was a bit of a doozy there. <laughs> We're gonna go start the quest now. Double check. We have all the requirements for the sake of not... Making a massive oversight again, as we always do, and we're good to go. We're honestly pretty lucky that we got those logs. I'm, like, pretty psyched about that, so. <laughs> All right. Should be set up to kill this guy. Oh, he's already coming at us. And now he can't. Pretty sure we just won. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Smoke diamond achieved. Just gonna get a couple of restore potions for the ice diamond. So I think we thought of a way that we can do the entire quest only death baking once. So let's see how this goes. Talk to this guy, talk to this guy. Gonna drop all our combat stuff. Go to Entrana. He's blessed our pot, so now we'll go back to Canifis. But not without picking up our stuff first, of course. And talk to this guy again. Now we use this on this and this on this. And now we've got the pot that we need for the uh, the blood diamond, so we can go ahead and do the shadow diamond stuff, which requires like a full inventory of lock picks. So buy an inventory of these. Now this is one of the iconic parts of the quest. We have to open up this chest with the lock picks. And it can often take a lot of tries. Yeah, so we fail. I mean, we're 99 thieving, so I don't know how long. Okay, so that's when we got one success. Maybe 99 thieving doesn't even help. First, second. Oh, okay. We almost had it that time. Hey, wow, that was easy as hell. Okay, so we got the Gilded Cross and the pot, which means now we can go do... The ice diamond, because that's what we prepared for to do. I'm gonna make five prayer potions. Gonna change our house to Taverly for the convenient teleport for this quest. Eight food, I think, should probably be enough. I guess. I think we'll mostly just take damage from the, uh, like the passive damage from the snow. I have a feeling like we either brought way too many prayer potions or way too many restore potions, and we're not gonna have enough food. But I guess we'll see. We pray mage he teleports to us, I believe. Oh, don't have the level. And then once he's next to us, do that. <sighs> I really, I don't really know this how, how this is gonna go, but I mean, it looks fine so far. Yeah, so <laughs> as we thought, I mean, I don't really mind that we brought extra stuff. I, I'm just happy that we're getting the quest completed, I suppose. Should be the ice diamond. There it is. Two down, two to go. Well, we lost like half of our inventory of food to ghasts, but apparently there's a method you could prayer flick to like not even take any damage from this guy. So we're gonna give that a shot. Or maybe this is fine too. Apparently he's weak to air spells. His magic level is one. So we don't need magic gear to attack him or to hit him, to be accurate to him. All right, we're gonna try that thing. All right, there we go. Uh, 
Okay, we beat him. Stranger's trying to spec us out. Hey, Squidward, I can see you through this little window. Our diary task completed. While we're here, I guess let's get back to the quest. Hum, my followers. So where is this safe spot? Somewhere over here, there's a safe spot. Uh, oh, he's like stuck. Oh, they're stuck behind a rat. I'm just gonna do this. There it is. Shadow diamond. All four diamonds in the inventory, baby. You love to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Desert treasure, you guys. It's like one of the most iconic quests in the game. Desert treasure complete. 20,000 magic XP. Access to ancient magics. Oh, man. Also, that unlocks like every hard diary. So we're going to pray at this. Speaking of hard diary. Oh, man. Well, synonymous with our desert treasure completion, we've just completed a 24-hour fast. And there is a giant ass salmon sitting in the other room and I'm gonna go eat that now. Let's hope we don't DC in here or we will lose everything we ever had. All right, first one down. Give this a banana. Oh shit, what is this? We're just gonna see if we can do this real quick. Actually, no, we're not gonna. We're going to leave because it's not worth it to risk it. All right, two down, four to go. That was like the weirdest fight I've ever done, but we did it. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna try the final fight with what we have, see how far we can get. We tested to see if we could teleport out of here, which we can, so that won't be a problem. <laughs> yeah, this is looking pretty easy. This looks donezo, if I'm being honest. Oh, there it is. Barra's gloves unlocked. Nightmare zone, most efficient point method unlocked. Efficient combat training unlocked. 20K Herblore XP unlocked. One of the best quests in the game to complete. And we did it with a red dragon mask. Oh, look at that. I love that XP drop, man. 20,000. We're getting up there. 62 herb lore. 62 herb lore. We have, like, a lot of herbs banked. 1,400 on the dot. Here it's 500 Snapdragon, 700 Quirm. You know, we're getting there, boys. We are getting there. This is what we're looking like. And we are there. I can tell you. I know what it's like to be there. Because I'm there. So you guys don't believe me? Well... Believe me, because we're there. I'm pretty sure that we're about to go do a bunch of combat training. So we'll go ahead and get these Barrow's Gloves. It's a... I think it costs 130k. Yeah, and you can alchem for 60k. So it's like a 70k. Oh, hey, hard task in Lemondry. So it's like a 70k loss every time you want to uh, get rid of them. But... Oh, man, look at those things. Those are the best. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go do some nightmare zone and get those points so we can get that black mask and dude. How about we don't get an Iosaur seed for this first, like we did the first six kills? If we get an Iosaur seed, I'm quitting. Are you kidding me? Okay, obviously I'm not quitting, but we got an Iosaur seed on every kill. Every single kill we got an Iosaur, and now the weeds, and I have to own. Oh, well. At least we were able to get 76 uh, farming, which means we are finally able to actually play on one of these bad boys, so... I mean, I'll take an Iosaur seed. It's fine. It's just like the worst seed out of all of them. I mean, Kronos would mean we could farm a bunch of Hespori, get a bunch of kills real quick, you know? Obviously, Atos is the best for the more herb yield, so... I will take it. There it is. The imbued... Black Mask. I mean, like, we're, like, near max gear. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, change these for rune arrows, magic short bow, weird, assembler, armadillo, pegasians. Still, I mean, like, we're one tier below max gear. We're, like, 1,700 total ultimate Iron Man. You know? We have a green dragon task. And, uh, this is gonna just absolutely shred them. We even have our inventory set up for the ectofungus. Got all this stuff. Got it all cleared out. I'm looking forward to this, guys. This is honestly a massive unlock for the account. And in terms of efficiency, we're really good. Do you guys know?